we're back in my garage. Um, it's a little dark outside. I was hoping to get home a little earlier so I can do it outside with some better light. But now I'm stuck in my garage with some floodlights, um, trying to capture everything I can here. So I got two cameras going. Um, so I'm gonna clean a burbot. Disclaimer, this is gonna be my second burbot that I've cleaned. My father caught one about three years ago and I watched a YouTube video and I cleaned his. Turned out okay. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to do it again for you guys. I'm no expert by no means. Um, I've only seen a couple of YouTube videos on how to do it. So I'm gonna attempt it and hopefully we can learn together. If there's any comments or suggestions for my next one, hopefully I get a next one. I don't wait 20 years for, or my whole life for my first burbot. Um, then I will take your suggestions on the next one. So let's do it together. I'll try to explain it to you. You're not gonna see my face too much. Let's focus on the fish, but I'll, uh, I'll walk you through how it's done. Super simple in a way, but a little tricky. So let's go. So you have to cut a little slit around his head. So just behind his fins here, you just cut that. Probably should have sharpened my knife before. That's pretty sharp. So pretty sure if I remember correctly you just gotta kind of cut around and then probably went too deep here all right so you cut around the head which I just did a little slit take some pliers and then what I remember you just kind of try to grab the skin here and pull back. I've seen guys basically like hold the fish up and do it lengthwise. I'm trying to do it here so you guys can see it better. Um, so pardon me for a couple seconds here. I'm just going to work it around. I'm going to work it around here. And again, there's probably easier ways and guys are expert at this. I'm not at all. I'm just trying to figure it out and learn as I go. So YouTube's for, right? So hopefully this helps someone else next time to not do what I'm doing maybe. All right, so it's starting to come off now. It's pretty weird. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's pretty freaky doing this. I'm not a big fan of these fish just because they look like a snake. I don't like snakes. So, probably cut too much here. I thought I was only supposed to cut the top, but it didn't seem like it was peeling properly. Anyways, let's see if we can get this done here. I'm just gonna try to Pull back as much as I can. I don't think it's supposed to be this difficult. Okay, it's starting to come now a bit. There we go. And then that belly meat. So I don't want to lose that. This is good meat here. I thought this was supposed to all come out together. This could be a complete fail, but uh, at least I have it on YouTube as a fail. Probably gonna have to. Oh wow, that's tough. I should use my better hand. I'll use my right hand. Let's see if I can peel it back for you guys this way. All right, here she comes. Oh my god. Like skinning a deer, I guess. I think I cut it in too much in the belly. Don't do what I did. I think you're just supposed to uh, cut a little slit and then cut a little too deep. I'll know that for next time. See this meat here, which is just the belly. That's why I cut too much there. I shouldn't have done that. Hopefully I can salvage that. Sorry, Mr. Fish, didn't want to, I'm not here to waste you at all. You're delicious and I want to use every part I can from you. starting to come now. Oh my goodness. You really got a reef on these things. There you go. Probably could have done this a lot better if I didn't cut so deep on my first cut there. But it seems to be coming up good now. 
Just like that. Anybody else think this is crazy? There you go. Skin to burp it. There's a skin. Put that in the garbage. All right. So there we go. We got a skin burbot. So for what I remember, if you cut just behind the belly, I guess, you'll get two boneless fillets from there. And then you can cut just like you would a normal fish right in here and you know, just off the rib cage and get fillets there. So basically you get four pieces from what I remember. So I'll just start, apparently you can feel the bones and then you go behind that, which is right here. I cut too deep because I got those guts out, so I apologize. So it's so this is just like any other fish, seems like. Cut down the backbone here and the side, feel the bones. And it's moving, that is freaky. Ooh, look at that, that's beautiful meat. Look at that meat there. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know if my good camera is catching the light here, but again, I don't have the best lighting. I cut a little bit too much, too close here, and I got a little bit of bones. Get that out, perfect. And I got a boneless fillet there, so that's one. Let's see if we can do that again on the other side. Jesus, I'm gonna flip this around this side here. Do it this way. So again, Say just behind here, I think right here. Here, I'll try to flip this around so you guys can see this. It's not the best angle, but. So this part's easy, seems like. I mean, I don't think there's anything hard about filleting a burr bit. It's just, it's just different than what I'm used to. Different than whiteies and walleyes and perch. There you go. There's another nice fillet there. So we got two nice fillets here. We'll soak those in salt water after and that'll take all that blood out. So there won't be issues there. Now this part, see if I can do this. So from what I understand, you can just follow the rib cage down. You get a nice fillet out of here, just like any other fish you would do. Oh yeah, that's a nice chunky meat in there. Wait till you guys see this. So just do that here. Wow. Ooh. I'm excited. When I ate bourbon the first time, I was so impressed. Like, I was telling everybody, if you caught a bourbon and you don't want it, I'll trade you for a whitefish any day because the meat is just absolutely delicious. And what I did the first time, my only time I guess, was I boiled half of the fish, like a, like I would do a lobster, and I deep fry the other chunk, I guess, or a little half, and man, was it ever good. Like the boiling wise, they're not kidding when they say poor man lobster, it tasted just like lobster. So these are the pieces I probably will boil, and then I'll deep fry the rest, but these are awesome. That's a couple of bones here, so I'll take that out after, but this is a nice chunk of meat here. This is beautiful. There's another chunk, we've got three chunks there. And then see if I can do this on this way for you guys. I'm trying to get good angles for you. It's taking longer than expected. So I apologize. Thanks for sticking it up. I might edit this a bit so it's not so boring, but I think it's important to go through the whole thing so you guys understand how it's done. So, the same thing as last time. I'd love to see somebody do this who does this like all the time to see how quick they are. I'm taking my time because I don't want to waste anything and I'm not sure if I'm doing it the right way. Because again, only my second time trying this. But, I'm glad I, it was a, my first bourbon was a, kind of a, I call it a good eater, but I mean, I wouldn't want to keep anything bigger than this. I think this is just perfect. All right, we're almost there. Pro 
probably should have sharpened my knife. I think I said that already. I'm just trying to be careful because I don't want to... The other one I left a few bones in there and I don't want to do that to this one. There you go. I know I've read that you can get a little bit of the belly meat, but apparently guys are saying it, it tastes a lot, like pretty fishy. It's pretty strong taste. So I'm not going to do that. If you guys have any suggestions or any comments on what I just did here, write them down guys. It's, it's all good. I can take it if I did a bad job or I did a great job. I don't know. I don't know what I did here, but here we have it. Let me just show you here. Just like that. And here's my fillet. There's one. Two, three, four. Super cool. All right. Well, that's how you clean a burbot, maybe. I wouldn't put this uh, as a tutorial of how to clean a burbot, but uh, we did it together. Again, my second time, so okay with how it turned out. So now let's, uh, what we'll do with this, I'll soak them in salt water, get all the blood out. That'll come out with a nice white meat, and then uh, I'm gonna eat it. So stay tuned. I don't know when I'm gonna eat it. it could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. We'll figure something out. But the magic of editing is I can do it anytime, and it looks like I just did it all at the same time. We'll see you in a bit. All right, it's time to cook the burbot. I'm gonna make this really quick because this video is already long enough as it is. So what I'm doing, I'm only boiling these two side meats right here. They look like nice chunks of lobsters. And then I'm gonna boil it, I'm gonna take it out, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven, put some paprika on it, put salt and pepper, put some garlic butter on it, and then put it in the oven for about five, 10 minutes. And then we're gonna enjoy it. So got some garlic butter here I'm gonna melt. But first, we're gonna put this in boiling water. So if you come over here, I got some boiling water. I put some salt in there. That's all I used. I'm gonna put these suckers in. And we'll let it boil for about, they say about five to eight minutes. So we'll see what happens. Once that's ready, I'll show you the next step. here share the rest with my girls so all I, all I did was I broiled it for about five minutes and doused it with some garlic butter so it's got to be good so let's see maybe a little dip in the garlic butter again <laughs> well hopefully it doesn't take me another 20 years to catch a bourbon if you guys catch a bourbon you better keep it or send it over my way thanks for watching see you in the next one